The Bronsted-Lowry definition of acids and bases says that an acid is a proton donor, whereas a base is a proton acceptor. So anytime a proton is donated, there must be another compound acting as a base. We see this happening even when we just simply put the acid or the base in water. In this case, we have hydrocyanic acid, and we're placing it in water. And so what we have is the acid acting like an acid, donating its proton to water, which is acting like a base. So the hydrocyanic acid is acting like an acid, and the water, because it's accepting the proton, is acting like a base. In the context of the Bronsted-Lowry acid-base definition, we have conjugate partners. And what that means is on the opposite side of the reaction, after the proton has been donated, that remaining, in this case anion, is called the um, conjugate partner of the acid. So in this case, the cyanide ion is called the conjugate, conjugate base partner of its parent acid, which was um, hydrocyanic acid. So that would be the partner. And um, the hydronium ion over here is the conjugate acid partner of its parent base, in this case the water was acting like a base. So we have conjugate acid base partners. They are different, the conjugate acid base partners um, differ chemically from each other by one proton. The acid, the conjugate base partner of an acid has one less proton, the conjugate acid partner of a base has one more proton. Here's another example. Let's look at ammonia. When you put ammonia in water, you get the ammonium ion plus the hydroxide ion. So this tells me that the water is donating a proton to the ammonia. So the ammonia is acting like a base. The water in this case is acting like an acid because it's a proton donor. So the conjugate partner of the, of the ammonia is the ammonium ion, and in this case it's the conjugate acid partner of the base ammonia. It has one more proton than the ammonia, whereas the hydroxide is the conjugate base partner of the water, which in this case is acting like an acid. These terms will become important later when we look more in depth at acid-base chemistry. Let's test your knowledge of conjugate acid-base partners. What is the conjugate acid of hydroxide? If you know that you have hydroxide and you want to know what the conjugate acid partner of it is, if it's the acid partner of a base, then it's going to have one more proton than the base. So in that case, the conjugate acid partner would be water. What is the conjugate base partner of hydrogen phosphate. In this case, the base partner of a compound that's going to be acting like an acid is going to have one less hydrogen. So in this case, the conjugate base partner is going to be the phosphate anion. It's the exact same compound, only less one hydrogen.